I'm back! Today, I have this beauty that I grew in my garden this summer. Oh, isn't it pretty? Isn't it? Perfect. Now, I have big plans for this pumpkin, something I've been wanting to do for years. So I'm gonna take very good care of my pumpkin, baby. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. This won't hurt a bit. All right, for this project, I'm using a dollar store gut pumpkin scooper thing, a bowl to put the seeds in, some mini pumpkins, because yes, always. Oh, they're so cute! A variety of sharp, pointy things, and toothpicks. I'm gonna start by opening a hole in my pumpkin at the top. I'm gonna put the wedge at the back so I can put the top on a little bit more easily. Remove your seeds and put them to the side for roasting. I'm not gonna save them for planting because I planted spaghetti squash as well, so they're cross-pollinated, so. Oh well. Hello! All right, use your scooper duper thing you bought and realize that your pumpkin is too small to use it with. And switch to a spoon. I'm mostly going to be hollowing out the front of the pumpkin where I'm going to be carving because I don't really care if the back is thick or not. Alright, I'm going to start with the eyes. This guy's going to have some retinals and some pupils and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to cut around them, cutting out the essential whites of my eyes. This pumpkin is thick, like with three C's thick. Take your time here, you don't wanna hurt yourself. Once you've got the essential whites of your eyes removed, Take a little knife or a scalpel or whatever you have on hand and remove the skin of the pumpkin from the, uh, the, uh, the retinal? The retinal. I think that's what it's called. Iris? Maybe. And that is going to let the light from your candle and or lamp inside the pumpkin to shine through it. I could have made them thinner and you'd have had more light come through them, but it's fine. Cut out your mouth. I contemplated giving him teeth, but nah, I got enough work for this guy as it is. Then you can either take a drill, like I did, or maybe a screw, or a nail, or just something to poke some little ditty bitty dots in there. Now, take your little pumpkins, and you're gonna cut around them in a zigzaggy pattern. All the way around. It was very hard not to save the seeds, but I have so many as it is. Grab your paint and a paintbrush and dab on yourself some little itty bitty eyes. Evil eyes. Evil eyes. Like so. Now, here we go. To assemble. Take your toothpick and poke some holes. Then break your toothpick in half and stick each half in those tiny holes, then impale your tiny pumpkins upon them. 
and that should keep them in place. And there he is! This is what he looks like with a candle. See how the light shines through his eyes? Had I made it thinner, it would have been a lot easier for the light to shine through it. And this with the little battery operated tea lights. You don't get as much light, but still works just as well. Kids. 